Well, hello there, beautiful shrimp people. In today's video, right, this is Saturday, so for what that means for me is that we are actually going to be feeding my shrimp spinach. This is one of the days that I feed either spinach, kale, cucumber, green beans, or something like that, right? So that's what we're going to do today. Spinach is my favourite. How I prepare this, guys, is I boil water. I have my frozen spinach. I buy it frozen and I keep it in the freezer. I put a quarter of a cup here into this container and that is enough for all my tanks. I put boiling hot water over them guys and then I take it to the microwave and I microwave it for one minute. Right and then I open the door, I let it turn like this, I give it a little stir and then I microwave it again for another minute and then guys I let it at least sit for probably, I don't know, four or five minutes. And then I add it to my tanks right and I do this guys and you can probably see why as well as this makes it sink. Right, when you stick it in the microwave, it actually forces all the little bubbles out of the spinach stem and the leaves. And it makes it soft enough for the shrimp to eat, right? So that's what we're going to do this morning. But guys, as well, I'm actually feeling pretty rubbish. I don't know what is wrong with me. I have some kind of condition this morning where, in one of my ears specifically, I'm actually hearing like a, a really bad distortion. And I don't know what it is, and it's making my whole body feel weird. So... Yeah, uh, this video won't be too long, but um, yeah, I thought I would feed my shrimp. I always come in here, guys. Even when I'm sick, I still come into my shrimp room and I do stuff. Guys, I don't know, the distortion. Have any of you guys seen a scene from that scene, uh, that film Prometheus, right? There's a scene in it where they're in space and they get a signal, right? And they're trying to listen to the signal and the signal is really, really distorted. That's exactly what my hearing is like in this ear for some reason this morning. So you better fix yourself. It's not sore at all, so I don't think I have an ear infection, but I don't know what it is. It's just really, really weird. And really, really hard to make videos and watch YouTube videos and watch crime dramas with the wife at night time. It's just impossible. Just like a, a horrible noise in my head. Maybe I'm going insane, oh my god. Anywho, maybe coffee can fix it. That's probably what it is, not enough coffee. Anyway, guys, let's get this food into the tanks and we'll uh, see what happens. Because we have tons and tons of baby shrimp bread and they need some nutrition and spinach is one of the best things that you can give them. All right, you shrimpy mothers. Let's uh, start on this side. This is my Opa tank. The last time I tried to feed these guys some spinach, they didn't touch it at all, right? And then the next week, guys, when I went to feed my spinach again into my tanks, the spinach was still in here and it looked exactly the same. So it's almost like the salt water preserved it somehow. Anyway, um, the shrimp are very, very active. I can see that a lot of them have saddles, right? And the only possible explanation I can think of to why they didn't eat the spinach before was because there's so much food in this tank, guys. All these rocks are all covered in algae. The stuff that looks like sand over here isn't actually sand. It's actually opa poop. All this stuff down here is opa poop. You probably can't see me pointing over there, but you get the gist. So today is going to be the first time we're going to try and actually add some food to the tank. And I'm going to put this bit in because it was been a little bit of a pain in the ass, I didn't want to come off. And guys, what I'll do right, is I'll generally put them in first like this and then we'll go back to each tank in probably half an hour to an hour and we'll see how much baby shrimp and stuff it pulls to the spinach. But it's a good indicator on how well your tank is doing. Let's get this in here. I've got a little feeding hole here, let's see if this sinks. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's like neutral buoyancy, you see it. You can probably just see it no more. Anyway, we'll let that go. Put some into the bottom tank over here. I'm going to put a little bit in. These opa get fed regularly for opa a couple of times a week, but just because there's so many of them. Right, and this is my... This is my... God, the, the stuff is sticking to the thing. This is my... <laughs> Um, project boa constrictor tank and these guys have had loads of babies right so they've had a couple of different batches of babies and I want to try and get this food down to the front and it's not wanting to sink so guys I thought of, of a plan we can do here and that is I have tons of ceramic rings let's get this on top like this I know you guys can't see but how's well, it going to go good in itself maybe maybe now it's going back up again there's a little bit of a flow and ebb in this tank. We put a little ceramic ring on the top like this. And we'll see what comes. There. I'm going to move you guys closer to the cam to the tank so you can actually see as well. One momentous. Alright guys, I think I'll just pick you up. 
like this and we'll go around and we'll add some food to the tank. So let's actually put this onto a tank somewhere. Let's see which one is good enough for this. Look at this little tank here. You see, we can make it hold. I'm going to begin, pick a bit that is an okay amount for each tank and uh, give it a little shake like this and it should sink because we did it long enough. Oh, there's two bits. Let's put our other bit into our other tank over here. Give it a little shake, get all the bubbles off. And it will make it sink, you see? Normally if you do it this way it sinks fast enough. So we have a tank here with loads and loads of neocaridina in here, right? So we need to put a couple of bits in here. Down you go. With these uh, forceps, you can see right at the end there, they have like little indentations on them. This is to help it grip, it can be a pain in the arse to try and get the spinach off, off of it. Put two bits in to begin with, and we'll see how it goes. I know for a fact that these will devour this probably within 10 minutes, but because look how many shrimp there is, guys, in this tank. Tons and tons and tons. Let's go on to our little really tank here. Look at the algae growth in the front. Let's push you down to the bottom. You see how it just makes it sink that little bit easier? You see how the bubble is caught in the in the spinach there? You just see it within like the cell wall of the spinach, there's a bubble you see. Get off, this shrimp wants to grab the food before we even dealt with it. Maybe it's enough, yeah, it's enough just to see it sink like this. Okay, so any tank that doesn't sink, we'll add our little ceramic rings, right? So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm quickly going to go around all the tanks that have shrimp in them. We'll put this in as best as we can. This tank has a lot of babies, so I want to see... See how this just floats perfectly? This was a two minutes in the microwave, actually, I think this was. So it was one minute in the boiling water, two minutes in the microwave, and then maybe three or four minutes to let it rest. And then it sinks nicely like this. I'm picking through this because we have some tanks with tons of babies and we have some tanks with just a little bit of babies, but we should give them all some food. This tank is really bad for glare, isn't it, this one? See, it just floats nicely, floats down. And I'm trying to pick out the bits that are huge for the tanks that I know that have a lot of shrimp, like this one. This one has quite a lot of shrimp. Go down. See, it's sinking itself, so... Yeah, I am aware that doing it like this does actually make the spinach lose some of its nutrition if you boil it and then microwave it but see this tiny little leaf here that can go in this one here because there's a bit five or six shrimp in this tank but they're never heavy feeders yet so yeah but we still need to give them some food same with the tank next to it so i'm looking for a little bit because that thing i was telling you guys about my ear is so annoying just like a constant distortion i'm hearing in my ear Instant. So I'm looking for a reasonable big bit here because we have a tank that's got a lot of babies in it. Loads. This next tank here is the tall tank at the back. Through that glare if you can see hundreds of uh, little babies. Right, so we might actually add two bits to this tank I think. Two big bits. Like that. And the tank next to it, they don't have babies, but they're always very active. I'm, f I'm hoping that this tank follows suit to the one with the crystals right next door. Right, let me see, we covered most of the ones here. We just need to put some food in the bottom big tank. Here, because there is actually some shrimp in here. At the back, you can see on the filters and at the back and stuff. So this is where I've been putting my males because we want mass breeding guys, right? So we're gonna let that sink. And this is probably too much food for this amount of shrimp. There's about maybe five or six shrimp in here. Let me see, did we miss anything? 
with the shrimp? Did we miss anything? I'm just going to have a quick look. We did miss these bottom tongs completely. Let's get you over here. They cut all those neos on that stuff already. Yeah, we missed a couple of tongs here. So, let's put some of this in. Now, these endlers, they do eat spinach, but it takes them a, a, quite a bit longer. i put two bits in because there's a, quite a lot of shrimp and endlers and stuff in here. I'm trying to get the stuff right to the front because we're going to take some marker footage next as well. Let's see, is there anything here? This tank has, guys, it has tons and tons of tiny, absolute micro babies in here. Let me see how many we can spot just with our little eyes. One there. I tried to point to them, guys. The micro babies, not the bigger babies, but micro babies. Like these ones here, look, are bigger babies, bigger, bigger, bigger. So it's just different batches of baby shrimp. Bigger babies, bigger babies. I'm seeing the micro babies on the filter. This tank is doing really good. Thank you. Right, so let's uh, redistribute this into our other tanks as needed. And guys, I'll be back in a minute to show you the results. Alright guys, let's have a little look. Let's have a little peek into our tanks and see what is there. I'm going to stick up all the macro footage that I've just taken. I'm going to stick some music to just some background and stuff. And what I'll do is I'll put some information on what each shrimp type is on the footage as well, right? And if you stay to the very end, I'm going to give you some bonus footage of uh, my little the tub down here that I just took away. The, the, the footage that we took yesterday, and that yesterday's video wasn't too great at the end, so I thought I'd make uh, the end of this one a little bit better. You'll see. If you stick to the end, guys, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll love it. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, uh, let's watch the rest of the video.